Amazon's The Boys, Gender Swap Stormfront for Season 2. P.S. She's also a feminist. Hello, I'm Mr. Nelson. According to Bounding in the Comics, Amazon Studios, The Boys, and as they will gender swap Stormfront, turning the character into a female. Well, yes, when you gender swap, it's either male or female. Yeah, oh, oh, that's right, not supposed to talk. Yeah, anyway, not only will Stormfront be female, but she will also be a feminist. Hmm, that's interesting. The gender swap character was introduced via Entertainment Weekly, who revealed the character will be played by Aya Cash. Now, this is all very interesting because Stormfront was originally introduced in The Boys number 7 as part of the superhero group Payback, alongside characters such as Tech Knight, Mind Droid, and Swato. His powers included flight, limited control of the weather, and the ability to fire powerful lightning out of his mouth. Hmm. He was also a racist who admired Hitler and took great joy in committing acts of genocide on behalf of Vought. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, for Aya Cash, before taking on the role of Stormfront in The Boys, she played Jordan Belfort's assistant Janet in The Wolf of Wall Street. She also played Shelley Wexler in The Newsroom, Gretch Cutler in You're the Worst, and more recently, Joan Simon in Voss slash Burden. Speaking to Entertainment Weekly, Cash provided some details on her version of Stormfront. I think Stormfront is like a nuclear bomb that goes off in the seven. Maybe nuclear bomb isn't the right word. We're in Chernobyl. There you go. It's a Chernobyl thing. She adds, I think she's here to blow up Vault. She's here to try to get Vault back to the original idea behind creating superheroes, and she can be quite the feminist. There's a lot of, I wouldn't say misdirect, but she also is a very empowered woman. Anthony Starr, who plays Homelander, also weighed in on Cash's version of Stormfront. He describes her as the grenade that gets thrown into Homelander's world and the world of the Seven. She really causes me so many problems. He continues, she's really social media savvy, where Homelander doesn't really have anything to do with that. Someone else is always running his account. He's almost like a Don Draper era character, and she's very young and new and fresh. And that's a massive challenge for him. Star also indicates that Stormfront is Homelander's equal. He's used to everyone being scared of him. She matches him. Cash also says, That's not to say she doesn't understand his power and tiptoe around it sometimes, but she's also willing to challenge him. Ultimately, I think the dynamic between the two is terrifying. It will change who Homelander is. Cash then indicates there will be a bit of a twist when it comes to her character. You start off this season thinking she's one thing and then discover she's another. She concludes, there are quite a few times where you'll identify with her as an audience member or agree with what she says. I think those are the most dangerous people. Well, uh, <laughs> you got a gender swap because, you know, it's 2020. And uh, make her a feminist and all that. But the problem with that is the original character is, you know, a member of the nasty party. <laughs> Fan of Hitler. So, oh, our boy, are they going to make this a commentary on militant feminists? <laughs> well, well, that would be fascinating. Do you think they really have the stones to do that? So, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> that'll be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, what are the odds that that's what they're going to do? Uh, so... You think it's just a gender swap, but she'll still be the nasty character that the, it was based upon? Uh, I'm dubious, but, um, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, yeah, another gender swap, because, you know, that works so well. It sure does. Thank you for watching and listening. Be sure to check out the link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Most notably, my comic book, Night Night, at IndiePlanet.com. You can also hear the Mr. Nelson show over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos 
on BitChute. That's Mr. Nelson Channel on BitChute.com.